it's like a lot of the good revolutions that, that have happened in the history of the world. We're actually in the middle of it and you don't really see it until you go, um, you know, 10 years down the track and go, oh, look, there was a revolution. We didn't notice. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm Peter Cooper. Uh, I'm just a, a Sydney guy, born and bred. My folks are from the, from the country. Uh, but I did computer science at uh, UTS up the road here and uh, still very proud of that institution. What we've built here is a, um, the la Australia's largest co-working space. It's called Fishburners, a curated community of innovative startups. And that's what it's about. It's actually, um, I just want to see Sydney become a hyper-connected ecosystem for, for tech startups. And we can't ever be the biggest, right? We just can't with 23 or 4 million people uh, a long way away from the rest of the world. We can't be the biggest, but we can be the best connected. And um, some people say that, you know, uh, I don't know if this is true, but I keep, keep on hearing it, that Israel's got more startups than, than uh, Europe. Um, don't know, but they certainly have a lot of startups, and it's about connectedness and making a point of, 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 of building that connectedness. They used to say, you know, you had to be born an entrepreneur. Absolute bollocks, right? It's just complete rubbish. Um, there's so many methodologies now that can make you successful if you just pay attention to them and bother to pick up the book or listen to the, you know, the audio blog and, um, and you know, watch the YouTube videos and you will learn that it's about experimentation, learning from the experimentation, repeating the experiment. You know, some, some, some of it is sheer persistence. Most of it is actually just being about the intelligent entrepreneur. You know, it's about being um, smart about the learning cycle. You know, a great example, a really, really good one actually is um, there's a writing community for, for writers, you know, am amateur writers that would like to, and it's an iPad app. The guy didn't, had never done any technology in his life, <laughs> taught himself to code in three months, wrote an iPad app, 100,000 apps downloaded, and now he's taught himself to code to do the cloud part so all those apps talk to each other. So what was just 100,000 people using his app, now are 100,000 people in an active community sharing, um, in, in, yeah, you know, and, and critiquing and, you know, giving feedback and, you know, so basically the whole, the whole, um, the wisdom of the crowd is going up collectively uh, because, they're, because they're doing it together. And, you know, what, what parent wouldn't want their, what, wouldn't want their child to think about, you know, the, the, some of the finer things, you know, being the best musician, being the best author, being the, you know, it's, so there's lots of reasons why those things, the natural human reasons, and, and it's not all about the tech, right? Um, it's about people doing great innovative things in the space they love and they're very diverse. Um, so we, we don't, we don't,